I'm here to talk to you about a game that just recently came out that has, I don't really know, it really hasn't been reviewed and, you know, I don't know if it's well known yet, but if you can't already see the screen, yes, it's Jackass the Game. Now, this game is pretty awesome. It really is. It's very fun to play. Here's the problem. Some of this shit is just way too tedious. You know, if you're looking for gameplay quality, I'd give this about a 3 out of 5. But, you know, if you're looking for fun, i give it a 10 out of 5. It really is fun. But, I just wanted to show you a couple frustrating things. Okay, but first, you see here we've got MTV mode, which is episode mode, which is the actual game. As you can see, I'm pretty much done, except for only a handful. Once you get those pretty much conquered, you go to challenge mode, you've got the same ones, except a little bit harder. Now, some now on challenge mode can be very frustrating, and then the jackass mart, you've got props, characters, and then slideshows, I still gotta buy a couple of those, and then some movies. Very funny. Alright. Challenge mode. Pretty ridiculous, can be. Alright, I'm gonna show you. Who doesn't love Party Boy? Let's check Party Boy out. I apologize for the shadow. That's because this is a piece of shit camera. And I don't have enough money to buy a real one, so... Okay. Party boy! I feel like partying right now! Woo! Yeah! Uh-oh. Where's the music? Let's party! Well, guess what? <laughs> I turned the music off because it's very frustrating, but pretty much the point is... I was made to party! Not you know what? I better just get the music up. But this game is pretty fun. It's just, some of it is very, very, very tedious. Very tedious. I mean, like, almost to the point of, I mean, impossible. Because, I mean, some of it will fucking drive you nuts. Okay, we'll go back to challenge mode. Alright, now here's the real party boy. Huh. <laughs> And I love how they have this piece of paper just like BAM. Oh, that's right. I also wanted to tell you about the characters. They're, BAM is not in the game, and uh, Wee Man, you can't play him on every single level. Which kind of sucks, but he, he's got his own category, so. But check this out. Pretty much you just gotta hit the buttons at the perfect timing. And every time you don't, that little faggot back in the background comes one step closer. So this looks like a pretty cool game, and this is my favorite stunt right here. That one, and uh, one that I can't pronounce too well, but... Yeah, so you pretty much get the point. You know, I don't want to show too much of one thing. Also, be careful, because it's just like on Guitar Hero. If you play it for about four or five minutes straight and you look at the wall, you'll notice that the wall is moving. And it's really awesome. It's like... You know. But here's one that's just flat out annoying. Extreme juggling. This is what I mean by tedious and frustrating. This is one of the most frustrating stunts there is. It can be easy once you get on a roll, but... Alright. I gotta get a hundred or uh, 10,000 points. Fuck. As soon as that, I'm gonna be. God damn it! 
This is the only way you're going to get anywhere on this level. And you have to be a hundred percent. It is like real juggling. They got a real aspect, but damn, I mean, trying to do this and talk on the camera, believe me, is work. It may look easy, but I've practiced at this for hours and hours and hours. Because I'm not the biggest game nut on the planet, so. Alright, but let me show you a better example than that. Because that one doesn't really look too intimidating, you know. But as you, if you saw in the corner, it was the left-hand corner, way up here. So I don't know, I don't think you can see it. But it said Wii game, which means you can't play Wii Man on every level. Which just kind of sucks. Okay, well now we're going to go to story mode. Whoops. San Fran trash can. Pretty much you're going down the street. San Francisco, do not try this at home. This, I mean, when they say do not try this at home on Jackass, I mean, I've tried it a few times anyway. But on this game, some of this shit, you will die. I mean, like this, for example. <laughs> Please do not try this. I'm telling you not to do this. I'm fucking the biggest daredevil there is. I'll just... I mean, I hate heights, but damn. But, check this out. Okay, I have to get to the bottom without crashing. But watch how frustrating this can get. Okay, you notice the character Knoxville right there is who I am. Now you can accelerate, break, and bail out. Bail out is when is where you can get the most hurt at. But not crashing is a fucking challenge beyond belief. Because some of these cars will deliberately go slow or fast just to crash into you. And that's really frustrating because you don't know which ones are after you. But you notice how some of them, fuck! Yeah, some of them go just fast enough to where you can't pass them, but some of them are going fucking slower than hell. Like, take that... What the fuck? Take that asshole, for example. Give him a speeding ticket. Fuck. Now, I'm sorry, but in real life, if you saw a trash can going down the fucking road, I, I mean, you don't know what's in that thing. I mean, you know, it's kind of far-fetched to say that, like, a bomb's in it or something, but... Damn. Do you know how dangerous that... that I'm sorry, that's just dangerous. It really is to try to run over a steel trash can like that. But look how much hell that is. Now, how am I supposed to do that without fucking crashing? Are you kidding me? What a fucking joke. You know, it's kind of fun to play, but it, it's just really intense and it's really tedious. But that's about all I have time to show you. So I give the game about a 5 out of 5. It really is good. Just be prepared to be annoyed and frustrated and throw the controller on the ground but once again we reviewed jackass the game buy it live it love it